Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I've been working for a while on this sample pack of sounds from my modular synth. I think I first mentioned it like a few months ago. It's still coming together. There's just so many interesting things that I want to include on it. And today's video is kind of about that, but also not really about that. So I've got the synth behind me here, just generating samples. It's making new sounds right now and recording them immediately to an SD card. I talked a little bit about this setup in my Plonk video. Plonk. Plonk. All these sounds are from Akemi's Taiko, which I've also done a video on. Dope. But I think I've got enough sounds out of it now, so I want to show you something um, that I'm thinking of doing right now that I think will be pretty fun. Let me show you what happens as I speed it up. You get these fun, chaotic sounds. The only thing consistent about them is the rhythm, and uh, we're gonna make a track with that. Okay, so you may have noticed that video was in my old studio. I filmed it a long time ago and never finished it, and now we're in my new studio. And it is present day. Still no plonk pack though. I'm very, very sorry. All right, so we are gonna make a track out of this. Got a recording from the modular that I brought into Ableton, and we're gonna make this into like some Proper music. It's not gonna be top 40 though. We've got 12 of these random sounds happening in one second. A thousand milliseconds in a second, so a thousand divided by 12, 83.3. Okay, so we have a random sound happening every 83 milliseconds. But that's cool, I like that. I'm into this kind of like glitchy IDM, like whatever you want to call it, music that has all these unpredictable, fast moving textures and sounds. But the way to make this into something that more people would consider real music is uh, to bring in some predictable elements, to counteract all the unpredictability with stuff that's very predictable. Let's just start by finding some samples that we like. I'm gonna use my own sample pack, Plastic Nature, available on Splice. I'm gonna use this one that I made with Lego. Yeah. The thing that's really gonna anchor this is a snare drum. I'm feeling these Lego ones today. Let's get the Lego snare in there. So already our ears have a little more to latch onto. There's all this fast moving noise, but we have a beat anchoring things down. And let's also put a hi-hat in there to uh, help keep time even more. The hi-hats I made for this sample pack are super weird, very electronic and sound effecty, but they're fun. Okay, let's add, uh, let's start with bass. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm feeling serum today. We need more of like a kind of snare. <laughs> I got some like dubstepy sort of snares somewhere here. There. And that bass has got to be way more growly. Let's throw, um... All right, so I think what's got to happen now is that I'll find some more purposeful, weird sound effects and accents that I'll drop in in some places and I'll remove our weird modular glitch thing in those spaces uh, to make room for them, you know, so there's not like constant chaos. But I do like what it's doing. It's just too much all the time. I love this little part. I want like vocal samples, like little like, ha, yeah, laser beams. Let's see what I've got in, again, my sample pack. It's just the easiest thing to use right now. I know there's a varied amount of stuff in there. One shot effects. Oh yeah, droplet sound, classic. There's our laser beam. All right, so that laser beam will happen every two bars maybe. So basically what I'm gonna do right now is set up a pattern of different weird effects and one shots, stuff that we'll repeat maybe every two, every four bars, and it'll give our ears a little bit more to latch onto. It'll be in the world of these weird modular sound effects, but because they're a bit more repetitive, it obviously won't feel like crazy chaos all the time. 
All right, you know what? I've come to a realization that as much as I love that we started this track from these crazy sounds, it actually sounds better without them. I'm committed to making this work though. I'm saving this track as its own thing for later and we're gonna start again with the wacky crazy modular. It's gonna be in that glitch IDM world and it's gonna be great. I believe in myself. Okay, I have a direction that I'm pretty happy with. I've just added a few elements, really. Let's break it down. I've got this arpeggiated synth, it's Native Instruments FM8. It's still going really fast, but it is predictable in a lot more senses than our wacky modular rhythm. It is only playing half the time, it's every other bar. And then it's also playing notes that are in a specific key. It's in this uh, F minor. And then I've got two snares from my Plastic Nature sample pack. We've got this bass line made with Ableton's wavetable instrument. It's playing a 16 bar pattern. So that's giving harmonic content for all those arpeggios. And it also keeps things a bit more interesting because it's not this crazy fast unpredictable thing. It's also not the hyper repetitive snare drum thing that's looping, I don't know, every like second or something. It's a longer pattern, but it is repeated. So you develop a familiarity to it and it sort of tells a story. It brings you on a bit of a journey. And then the final thing is something that I'm really happy with. It's this kick drum also made with Ableton wavetable and it's playing a repeated four bar pattern but it is a really ridiculous frenetic crazy pattern so i think what i'm gonna do now is structure this track making transitions between sections with different combinations of elements and probably adding a couple extra little sparkly details here and there i have a feeling though that this video has gone on long enough so i'm gonna sign off here but thank you so much for watching subscribing all that good stuff and i will see you next time